lots of the playoff. So we're near the uh, the dam site now. I was hoping the water would be a little bit higher, but it's not. Heather keeps asking me to do some hillbilly and empty when comes to Florida, and I told her it's not a thing, but she keeps asking me to do it, so as soon as I told her we were sleeping on the river, she said, Oh, are you coming to do some hillbilly and fishing? No, it's not. <laughs> Save the thing. Nice. Thought I heard a bike. All right. So this is a uh, an Airbnb lean-to. I'm gonna unload and then we'll go check it out. Thought I'd show you our uh, our place. So sweet little abode, right by the river. A little lean to. Be a great spot to host a little mini um, you know, eight person ride. Basically you can put, I would say at least six two man tents around this little area here. And then uh, you've got the hamster and the BDR, all kinds of other routes that are in this area, a ton of forest roads. It's a nice little spot. But can't beat the view though. That's weird. I guess I wasn't recording that entire time. I hope I was recording that whole time. I was just saying it's a little bit slick up here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty slick. This is all covered in snow just a few days ago, so uh, it's all melted now, but it's a slow melt, so this stuff is all nasty. Ooh. We're not in Nobbies anymore. So I was saying this is Long Pond Road, and it's been closed for three years, and I have never ridden it. Oh. I've never ridden it. Um, yeah, 
that's like so I'm gonna run it. So we'll have some mold cider around the fire tonight. It's gonna to be really spectacular. You know, I'm 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 out here by the way, um, at a time when we have an undecided election in the U.S. And so, um, you know, like many Americans, I've been glued to the TV for the past four days, and I'm actually really kind of glad to just be. Uh, well, here, <laughs> there's no cell phone service, there's no people, and just, just be out in, in the wilderness, you know, it's just, it's such a tough time for the country. It's Saturday. Um, there's my feet. <laughs> We're in the lean to. Heather has left. Uh, I decided to stay in bed way later than normal because it's freaking cold outside. Um, I don't know what the low was last night. I don't need to look at the, uh, I need to look at the, the temperature, um, past temperature, but my God, I, I think it was probably 35 degrees last night. Um, cause even though, even though it was a high of 70, I don't, um, we're we're like fifteen or two thousand feet elevation. We're in the we're in the White Mountains. I, I think it was pretty damn cold. I mean, my hands already getting cold just being outside with the sleeping bag. Um, so uh, last night it was Heather and I in the sleeping bag. Um, in the sleeping bags, we each have um, Big Agnes uh, um, anvils, fifteen degree tents, um, with a wool blanket over us. And the dog was under the blanket, uh, keeping us warm. <laughs> um, no noises, no animals. Uh, we had heard during dinner last night, we heard a, um, a moose, uh, call, but that's it. No other, no other animals last night. Um, so today, uh, well, first of all, the wood this guy sells is not good. Um, well, what I'll do is I'll get out of this awkward position here and then I'll get back to you guys and tell you about today's plan, but, uh, I'm going to get back under the covers for another half hour because I'm getting cold already. It's very cold. Seriously. I think if we had used the tent, it would have been much warmer because we would have heated the tent a little bit better. This lean to just passes air, you know, straight through it. And, uh, and plus with the river. The river cools the air a lot as well. Uh, we were storing our beers in the river because the river is like 40 degrees. So anyway, I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes with today's plan. It's, it's, it's cold. Good morning. So the, uh, sorry, the wood here is not very burnable. Um, it, it took, I mean, two hours into the process of, of, of starting a fire, I had a substantial amount of coals and the wood just kept going out. Um, kind of embarrassing. So I went through all the wood last night because whatever. I mean, it's burning. It's 
see how much stuff is left in there. Um, so today my goal is to get um, wood from someplace else. Um, it's a misleading packaging actually. The tear mark is here. Um, so I need wood from oops, anywhere else other than here. Um, and so my plan was to have uh, avocado with uh, tomato and egg for breakfast. I have all the ingredients, but um, I can't reliably start the firebox. I and mean, you can see here, I have wood in here that just didn't even finish burning. So. We're gonna have to uh, try this again tonight um, with better wood. And maybe this time some sausages. Wouldn't that be good? I used to make coffee when I was camping. But the cleanup is just too much, so now I make tea. It's it's significantly easier that way. Unfortunately, I like my tea with cream, but I guess we're roughing it. All right, there's that. So we wait uh, about five more minutes for our breakfast to get ready. Look at this. This is such a cool place. Uh, 27 bucks a night. Lean to in Warren, New Hampshire. You guys should look it up. Just so relaxing. Just the river sounds were constant. And uh, man, it was so comfortable. Quiet. No one bothered us. Look at that house on the right there. They're lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little place to hang out, though, right in the White Mountains. Um, I had to drone out just while I was drinking my morning tea. But this is pretty much just it. I wish the drone could pick up some of the river sounds. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Um, first time I've ever done, like, a stationary drone shot, too, which is kind of cool to do. Uh, the campsite down from me on the right there is a little fire on the right hand side but they're like I mean everyone's like 100 yards apart so you can't really even hear or see anyone man what a great spot you guys should look it up go stay there I can't believe it's November 6th November 6th <clears throat> and I have my all my vents open on my Badlands Pro jacket <laughs> Uh, we're on Route 25 or uh, Moose Lock Highway. All the tourists are gone. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, October's the best riding month of the year, but man, November, we got so lucky. Yeah, because we've got, uh, go on there. Um, all the people, all the summer campers and hikers are gone. The leaf peepers are all gone, and we've got no skiers or snowboarders yet. ATVers are gone, so like, it's just locals, man. There's no one up here. The uh, the place I'm camping tonight, he's like, yeah, all the all the campgrounds closed. He's like, so I'm full because, and everyone that's staying with him tonight are locals, like locals as in like New Hampshire people. So I'm uh, squinting it up here. I'm going to town to. Uh, Get some cell phone service while well, and throw out some trash. Um, there's no cell phone service at the camp. And uh, the thing is, Heather is out today. She's not going to be back at the camp until like 7 p.m. Last night was way too cold for her. So we kind of agreed that uh, she may come back today, hang out by the fire with me, but then she'd be leaving. Uh, I'm thinking about basically proposing to her that. So it's just gonna be so cold, and I've gotta to leave tomorrow at 10 a.m. anyway for checkout. I'm gonna to propose to her that she do that as planned. I'm gonna go get some firewood on the back of the GS because that guy's firewood sucked. Um, so I'll get firewood. I'll, you know, have the fire going really bigly by the time she gets there. But then when she arrives, the plan would be that we basically just pack up 
everything except for the camp chairs and then um, and then so you know we 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 go home and sleep in our own bed um, instead of sleeping in a lean-to I'm gonna propose that to her and see what she thinks uh, her she actually so she was doing some um, uh, I guess it's a form of CrossFit you can't call it CrossFit because Reebok owns that trademark um, but she's doing some kind of form of CrossFit and really hurt her back badly um, a couple of days ago and it keeps getting worse so you know she had a really tough time sleeping last night so did Porter he was really having a rough time it was a full-size air mattress we were on uh, instead of a queen so the three of us were on a full size it's really tough for all three of us um, I slept the best after she left so I'm gonna call her now and figure out what you know what she wants to do about that see if she's interested in trying something different and um, I still want some fire time tonight so you know if she says I don't want to fire at all or I don't want to come back at all then I'll go home and get the Ford Escape and load everything up but still do the same thing as planned. Well, we did need wood. <laughs> the panties are full of wood too. This is it's a lot of wood. All right. So we're um, we're trying this again. So this actually is a really cool thing, by the way. Which I was recording. Have you guys used this before? You basically put the green part around your wood, <laughs> then you pull the red part really hard, and uh, it's like a firecracker. It just it just starts. It's kind of cool, actually. No match is needed, and there it goes. Um, so we'll see if this works. I'm hoping that by the time Heather gets here, we'll have a nice roaring fire that'll last long into the evening. All right, well, this is going to be the last part of the video here. Saturday night is over uh, as planned. Uh, Heather and I decided, you know, it's going to be a low of 30 degrees again tonight. And last night was just so miserable. And we were only 32 miles from the house. So last night was just so miserable that we were like, yep, just going to cut our losses. Um, so she got her, she actually came around, which is really nice. She got out of her thing early. So she actually came over at like 2. Uh, we both found firewood, so we had this raging fire, uh, and then used all of our daylight hours to load the car and the bike with everything we didn't need. Had some dinner, set by the fire until uh, you know eight o'clock, and now we're heading home. So yeah, it was pretty much a, a perfect evening. You know, this kind of situation, being 30 miles from the house, uh, to get up the next morning at seven or eight when it's like freezing outside, literally freezing. Uh, it'll be 32 when we wake up, um, and, you know, and, like, pack all of our shit up in the cold, um, uh, I'm just kind of glad that we're, we're doing it this way instead. Uh, it's just going to be a lot easier to always wake up in your own bed, but packing everything up while it was warm outside, I know we're lazy, but it's just, it's easy this way. <laughs> so, sleep in our own bed tonight. And uh, it was a great day, though. You know, the, the, the nice thing about it, though, is checkout time was at 10. So by booking the extra day, we could stay as late as we want to on Saturday and then head home. Uh, Porter will be happy, too. He was kind of shivering a little bit there in his little bed. Uh, it's cold. It's already 47 degrees. It's going to be even colder in, uh, in about an hour or two. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. So, uh... Have a good night, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed some of the footage that I shared with you. Nothing too exciting, but shared a couple of cool uh, video clips there. Uh, probably our last camp out of the year. So I'm kind of, you know, melancholy about it a little bit, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's time for winter. All right guys, have a good night. Thanks for watching.